Hello, hello, welcome to In Production. So today is, I'm changing my monitor. I'm upgrading this one. Uh, this monitor, before I actually upgrade it, let me explain. Uh, this one is 1080p, decent, Rec. 709 color cor corrected. Uh, I personally corrected with uh, my friends, has a color cal calibrator, display cal calibrator. It runs fine, doesn't have a great contrast ratio, it's IPS, uh, IPS panel. Game, it's okay. 60 hertz is nothing drastically fast. So the reason I'm upgrading this to a new one is first because it's not uh, flicker free. So my eyes get a lot of strain these days since I'm uh, making a video every two to three days. And two, uh, I don't have enough resolution. It's 1080p, full HD, enough for content watching consumption. But I make 4K video at 60 hertz sometimes. The three, this one doesn't have enough color space. It's about 80% sRGB compatible, so which is very unsaturated compared compared to regular sRGB certified. Uh, monitors. Enough chit chat. Let me show you what I'm upgrading to. So today I'm upgrading to this Philips E Line 32.8 E1. It's a 32 inch curved 4K display with uh, color space space coverage of 120% of sRGB, which is perfect for content creation and on the budget. Um, let's open this up. Oh my god. Okay. All right. They also give you the calibration note. HDMI 2.0 cable. Two cable. Really? No, this is display port and then this is HDMI. That's awesome. They give you both. Power cable. There is a stand. This. So I think in on the instruction I'm supposed to Put the leg stand first, like this. All right, there's screw. Screw is actually big enough that I can use a coin to just tighten this down instead of using a screwdriver. I think that's a very smart move. It's not that, not too heavy for how thick this thing is. Voila. Okay, looks good. They don't have almost no bezels. Zero bezels. Although, there, this corner is a little bit of imperfection here. I don't think that matters too much as long as it works. Here. Switch is here. Nice. I wish it was a little higher. You can only tilt up and down. Okay, so right off the bat, I noticed that the pixels are much, much sharper on this one. Of course, it's 4K. I thought the contrast ratio is on this one is 2500 over one. Uh, much higher than my previous one is at around probably 800, 900 over one. But in this picture, my background I, it looks very gray. And so I thought maybe the settings are off. But actually, it is the right color. It is displaying the right color. It was supposed to be gray, uh, but my previous display that just doesn't have ca capacity of um, representing the black correctly. Because if you see the Windows bar over here, it, it looks very black to me. In terms of color representation, I noticed that the blue colors are very well represented and also the red, especially the magenta side in here in this scene is very beautiful. Here on the top and here on the lava lamp, it looks really gorgeous. Wow, it looks so much brighter than my previous one and much more vibrant. I really love it. We're gonna give it a shot today and even gonna have my... Oh yeah, uh, I forgot to mention, this display also has a speaker. So check this Done. out. Uh, try out some of them so he can see what gaming was like in the Stone Age. And this video is going to be brought to you by... Yeah, I'm also noticing the blue here is much nice. The red are more vibrant. Um, 
his uh, the skin tone got better. Uh, previously, it was more um, like stare of color gradation on skin. I think the skin is the hardest part when it comes to uh, displaying the right color, but this one is doing an excellent job. So this one has two HDMI input, uh, one display port, picture, the brightness is at 90. This is default more. Uh, so you can change the aspect ratio. Why? Volume. Um, I mean, this looks a little more net neutral. So here's my first impression about it. So it basically checked all my boxes that I wanted to have, such as 4K display, high resolution, uh, better color representation, accurate color, uh, and the contrast, the nice contra contrast, contrast, contrast ratio, <laughs> and curved display as a bonus. Only thing I'm missing out here is a refresh rate. This is a 60 hertz uh, refresh rate at FreeSync monitor, so you can go kind of higher than the 60 if you're using a FreeSync, but. Um, I'm not really missing it up since I'm just a casual gamer and this is plenty fast enough for me as a content creator. There's two major things so far that I wanted to mention about this monitor that's downside uh, that I don't like. One, you can't adjust the height. Uh, you can only do tilting down and then there is not even a tilting up. So it's just straight or either straight like this or tilting down like that. Two. The stand is not very good. It's not sturdy enough. Every time I touch it a little bit, even the optioning button right here, it starts to shake just by touching it. So I wish it was a little stronger. But then again, like how many times are you going to touch the monitor option when you're actually using it? And I'm going to cal color calibrate it with color calibration. So I never ever have to probably touch this again. So who's this display is for? Uh, I think it comes down to two categories of users. One, a content creator who's looking for 4K display for editing their video, uh, but on a budget. Um, two, uh, but on a budget and a console, console game gamers, I think. So that's been it. Thanks for watching. Hope hope this was helpful information. I might actually make a review after this. So until then, this is it. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.